The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Uh, okay, folks, uh, we're going to take a look here at the Treasury bonds. By the way, um, you're wondering why I'm so bundled up here. It was uh, 27 degrees last night. We have five inches of snow behind us in the mountains. Uh, Tucson looks like Switzerland with uh, our four mountain ranges are covered with snow. It's really uh, uh, not an unusual event during January, but to get that much snow, uh, was quite a bit, and it came on um, very, very quickly and then left quickly. It was a remnant of a storm that was coming out of um, California. But uh, we're looking at the Treasury bonds now, folks. Big swings, you can see here on today's action, that we went uh, all the way up to, uh, we rallied from 21.18 up to 22, uh, 20, almost 123, the, which is the uh, 123.02 is a 382 retracement again from our purposes as a technical trader uh, that's where you want to be selling the treasury bonds you'll notice that right above here is an abcd pattern right here uh, and that is you want to have your stop right above that because you've got to risk that distance here is 17 points which is roughly $500 so you got to have your stop up in here somewhere but to me this is an abcd correction in a bear market now what we're going to do now We've got a couple things that just happened here in the stock market, and let's just get one here with the Dow Jones right here. You'll be able to take a quick look at it. Now, last night, just if you don't believe in ABCD patterns, folks, here was the action last night. You'll notice here that uh, the uh, Sunday night, here's where we were Sunday night. The market started right there is when Sunday night started, and it went all the way down. And look at the low, 37474. And the low was 37470. It went four pips below the actual ABCD structure. And look what it's done now. We're up to the 61% retracement here. We exceeded the 382. Okay, we exceeded the 50%. And now we're setting right at the 61% retracement of the high that we made right back here. Now, that is not the same high that we had back here. You notice this was a high was made back on January the 2nd. And if you put that in there, you'll see it comes in exactly at the 50% level. So you got two major ratios setting here, looking you right in the face. Now let's convert this over to the S&P. We'll come over here and we'll start out with the S&P. We'll just go with an hourly chart. It should be able to, sh there's what we want to see. And that's where we are. Okay, there's where we are right now, folks. As we speak, we are setting at 47.71. It is a 50% retracement of the high from December 28th, which you remember Norm Winsky was uh, telling us about that date. And uh, it was a very, very important date because we had a, uh, a lunar aspect. I, was, I believe it was a, uh, a new moon. And what also was had Mercury going retrograde at that time. And now the ABCD has formed right here. This is Gartley, plain and simple. If you can't do this trade, folks, you can't do any of them. That's basically it. Might not work, but that's the name of the ball game. Your stop has to go above here. So you've got to risk about 20 handles. There's no other way about it because it moves so quickly. Now, if you really wanted to play short stacked, you'd have to put your stop 10 handles away at 47.80. But we recommend using a stop of 47 of, of 20 handles in this now because it's moving so very much. Remember, we suggested selling the first 382 off of this high, which came in right here. That one certainly worked out pretty good. And the fact that we're here now, we're going to have some real exciting times with these markets. There's no question about it in my mind. We're starting to see it just about everywhere. I mean, it's just a really great. Now, I want to spend just a, a small amount of time here with the uh, soybean uh, soybean oil, I believe, this, I think uh, we were talking about it just before, but here's the pattern that we were looking at in the soybean oil. There, this, you'll see it right here. You'll see we had double ABCD patterns right here. I'll blow it up so we can see it very, very clearly. 
much like this. There's your A, B, C, D measuring to 46, 36. This one measured to 46, 46. The low was 46, 30. So here again, it went six pips or $36 below that level. It's now rallied 100 bucks or one full point, which uh, is a, it's a $600. So you break even now with a chance to to have some pretty good returns if, in fact, it uh, it does get that. That's all we're watching here. And uh, just looking at ABCDs, uh, nothing uh, nothing spectacular, just a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Now, let's just talk about the precious metals because we have had some big moves here in the gold market. Here's where we are. This is a 60-minute chart from where we were. You remember we got up here. This was the 61% retracement. We'll draw it in so you'll be able to see it. There was your 61% retracement coming in right here. There's your 1.27 expansion. The first rally back today in the gold market stopped, you know where, boys and girls, right at 2043, which was the 382 retracement. We rallied $18. You know the harmonic number in gold is 17 or 18, and that's where it went to. And now it's backing off just a little bit. So what we want to watch now in the gold is to watch to see if, in fact, we're going to test this one more time. The reason why that's important is because if you look at the four-hour chart on the gold market, you'll see that it's bounced off of that key level here. We were looking at 2030. The low was 2025, $5 lower. Then we rallied a little bit. So to come back and test this one more time might be a spot to looking at gold. But folks, one thing you have to keep in mind, you, you see this high that we made here after this low was made? This was, stop and think folks, this was done in four hours. It went uh, 30, it rallied, uh, rallied $41 an ounce, stopping exactly at the 61% retracement. And if that's the case, what we could be looking at is a move like this, where you have an ABCD leg here, and an ABC leg right here taking you down to that magical $2,000. Frankly, I think we've got a chance to, to hold this level. But what happens here in the next uh, 24 hours is going to tell us because we start going below here, we will be looking at a lower price than that just by just by doing some simple ABCDs because we know – this rally right here was right at 382. You can see that. And so that would take you back below 2002. So you'd be looking at several numbers down here below, uh, right around 2000 or below 2000. So that's uh, that's what we're watching. It. This is the key level. No question about it. not only that, but the timing is key because we have this January 8th date that normally we'd be talking about here. Uh, when he comes on at the break here. So those are a few of the things that we want to be covering this morning. I need to check the time, so bear with me here one second. And I want to get the old TFNN clock up here to tell me that I've got uh, 37 seconds left. And I want to share a really neat chart that we got from Tom Hugard. And basically what this chart is, you're seeing is a 72-week cycle. I'll talk about that when we get back. So bear with us here, folks. 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, Education. Investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. .com. Call, call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, this chart comes from Tom Hugart. Trader Tom, and basically, if you'll look at these uh, brown lines, these are 72-week cycle highs. All I did was, when I got the chart from Tom, I just drew in the A, B, C, D patterns that we see here because they were beautiful ones. I mean, just perfect, and we already know where it went to, 38,000, where it was the expected high, and we were doing the futures, of course. You got to 38,008. And, of course, a little bit lower than that right now. In fact, it's just made that 61% retracement like we talked about. So that's what we're watching here with this particular move right here. So let me get it out of the way right there. And then I want to reiterate where we've been here in the Dow Jones E-mini because there was the number right there. You can see the double ABCD patterns. There's A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. C, D leg is 1.27 expansion of this move right here, and it's also 1.618 expansion of this move right here. So, in other words, you take this move, multiply it times 1.27, it'll get you to right there, and then if you go from high to your low, the expansion comes in right there. We're trading at 37,720, I believe, right now. Uh, we've rallied quite a bit uh, today off the bottom. So that's then that's basically a factor of the of the, the 15 DAO stocks that are triple digits. That's really what we're paying attention to. So let's get back into the real game here and talk about a couple other ones that we want to be watching. We've covered the gold market. We've covered the bond market. Now let's talk about, you'll never guess what, boys and girls, we're going to talk about the crude oil market because... This was one that I just really, really thought was, and it, it did work out relatively well. But last night, we knew that this number right here, you could be able to see it. There's your 61% retracement on the long-term dailies right there. We already knew that. So what we were looking for is to see whether this would hold this 382. Well, it didn't. It, the number was 7301. It came down and rallied back to break even. But what happened in the middle of the night? It, for a period of three hours, now this is a 13-minute chart, so each one of these bars is 13 minutes. For three hours, it went up exactly to the 382, right? Look at that, 382, right on the money, stayed there for, for 45 minutes, and then 
boom, down it came. Just gave up the ghost all that way. I sent the video out on this to hopefully alert some folks to see whether they would take advantage of it. I know some did because of the fact that it was such a beautiful 382. And if there was a nice little ABCD pattern, we have to go down to a smaller time frame. We'll go to an eight minutes. You'll probably tell us where we are. And then we'll get it up here. That would be right. Uh, oh, this is not going to be good because I got to stretch it out. This is it right here, but it's hard to see because of the uh, uh, this darn thing it doesn't want to. Well, I'll draw it the best I can. So there's your AB leg right there. There's your CD leg coming right up in there. It's your 3A2. And then uh, down she came. No ABCD in here at all. It wasn't even close to an ABCD. We did have a pretty big, big rally here. We rallied about a dollar a barrel. And the news, of course, is really bullish. You know, they're block blockading the Red Sea places and stuff like that. But this market's not responding to uh, bullish news. And that in itself is a bad sign. Just like today, you had bad news in the Dow Jones. What did the Dow Jones do? It went up. So that's what we're paying attention to here today as we're watching this. So a lot of 382s last night, folks. This one we were sort of aware, quite a bit aware of. Of course, this is the, the natural gas that we've been watching. Here was the move here Sunday night. We rallied up here at 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning. We were making a beautiful 382 retracement. And then, boy, down it came. And then look at the rally. We've had a really strong rally. Here's one. You have an ABCD at the 382. It doesn't work. Boom, you're out of that. Now you're up at this level, so you got to check to see what the retracement was. I would wish these all worked 100% of the time, but they don't. And here we are sitting right at a 61% retracement here in natural gas at 2.846. So that is due for a sale, in my opinion, because, you know, we have uh, got lower tops in here. we got some lower bottoms. This is basically a double bottom in this area. So we could go either direction from here. So it's... Uh, it's not a clear ABCD by any stretch of the imagination, so it's not a Gartley. It's just a retracement. So I think the better trade would be the one that we're looking at in the S&P and also in the uh, – hold on one second – also in the Dow Jones. And what we need to do, since we only have a couple minutes left here, I want to get this straightened up, and we'll see how these are going to be looking right now. And the Dow Jones one is still in the ballpark. It's, uh, oh, up a tiny, tiny bit. The uh, S&P was a sale at, uh, well, pretty much where it is right now. It's a sale at 71, and it's at 470.70. The high has been 472.50, but that is a perfect Gartley, folks. Uh, give me that 100 times, I'll win 80. But that's that's what you've got right there. It's uh, spot on. Might not work, but uh, that's what you have to do if you believe in Gartley's work on page uh, 222, where he said, find the first ABCD rally in a bear market and sell that one. He said, you don't have to try to pick a top. He said, just do that one. And that was it. He spent two full pages in that book describing that pattern. And that's why I named it the 222 because it was on page 222 in Gartley's book. Okay, we've covered the ones that I wanted to cover thus far. Uh, someone's asked a question about the soybeans situation that we were looking at last night. I will show you. We were watching March soybeans, folks. But these were the vid videos that I sent out uh, in the middle of the night or early in the evening, whatever. Here's March soybeans. We'll get the daily up right here. You'll see here that we were looking at this pattern right here, right at this level right here at 1250, uh, 1253. Okay. Now, the low right here was around 1253. It rallied a tiny bit, and then it dropped 20 cents. And I said to everyone, look, I said, we've got a pattern in the soybean oil that is absolutely perfect. This one isn't because we're already below the double ABCDs. You see, you got two ABCDs, and they didn't work. So why would the 618 work? Maybe it would have, but we're saying let's go to the soybean meal or soybean oil. It had everything going for it, so we put the order in right at the D point, and it turned out to be okay. Now, sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't work. That's basically it. Some days it's chicken salad. Some days it's chicken with something else in it, and we all know what that's like. So we don't need to worry about that when that one's all out of the books and got this we're in the soybean oil with our stop at break even and so we have basically a risk-free trade going at that point now in just a few minutes here i believe we're going to have 
Oh, we got a whole minute left. Let's get, oh, ah, shut the front door. We want to look at Apple because someone's asked me, and, and now it's back on everybody's watch list. Everybody wants to buy Apple, and there is where we are right now. See our 60, uh, or we were watching to buy it here at the 61% retracement. It didn't get there. I think it will. I think, still think we're going to get down here this 179 level. This is what we're having today. 80 was the low. The high today was 84, so it's moved four, four bucks. This is really nothing more than this, this type of little rally here. Just looking at this on a 382, it could go all the way up to here and still be pretty bearish. And that's 187. So let's take a break and stay tuned for Norm Winsky of Astro Trends. Yeah. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Norm Winsky in the house right now. Norman, how are you? Good. Hello, Larry. Happy New Happy Year. Happy New Year. Do you do? So why don't you go and tell us what we should do? Okay. You're a poet. Don't you know it? <laughs> Can't make it rhyme every time. <laughs> there you go. Thank so you I, was flat. I thought I would do a quick review of when I was last on your show. I That was on the uh, 26th, the day after Christmas. Uh, that night, as you uh, pointed out uh, earlier, 
we had a moon event. It was a full moon in the sign of cancer. The moon is the ruler of cancer, so that's like a double emphasis on the moon there with the moon in its own sign of cancer. And anytime we have the moon, we look at financials, grain, specialist metals, and silver is ruled by the moon and cancer. So that's a double emphasis there on silver and oil. So uh, we'll be looking at these charts in just a moment. Over the New Year's Eve weekend, New Year weekend, uh, we had Jupiter turning direct, the opposite of retrograde, and uh, that was in the sign of Taurus. You might guess that's cattle, uh, because Taurus is the bull, and also cut. Then we had Mercury turning direct over that same weekend. That's the grains, corn, soybeans, wheat. And keep in mind, stocks potentially respond to all events versus commodities are respond Mostly to narrow, just one or two, th a few things, you know, narrow filters. All right, here's the corn right on the full moon there. There you're right near that top there, just a penny or two off the high, and you had a nice top there. Our mercury point over here, uh, which historically has a high percentage batting average over many, many years, been doing this since the, that, the green since about the 80s, uh, that did not work. Same thing on the beans, they rallied there, although the beans are kind of a mirror image rolled to the moon here, in that they topped a day later, and the corn topped a day early to, versus the moon, but we allow one day uh, tolerance for these things, so that's a winner, uh, and uh, beans ignored uh, the mercury director also. Uh, the wheat also was good for the full moon, and the top was right there, just a, a penny or two off the high. And then it just chopped, chopped sideways into Mercury. And so that's a pass. It's going sideways. We don't do sideways. So that was a pass. Here's cattle was going sideways. So that's also a pass. Cotton had a rally into our uh, Jupiter point in Taurus. And that was a little bit of a short-term top there. Uh, silver was been, had a bit of a bounce up into the moon and we gave that double emphasis because the moon was in cancer and so we get two points to the plus there and you can see how it topped out there and had a pretty good drop a few days here's gold rally in a few dollars a heat against you there on the gold but then it declined just like the silver and here's crude oil topping out there near the moon. The high was the day before, uh, but you were close to the high there. So you could have sold near the high of that range and had a small, relatively small risk. S&P did make a top the next day after the moon. That was actually the high of the month. And so far, the high of 2023, the high of that whole rally on the S&P. And then it came down and then we had the two points there. For the New Year's weekend, and they did, that did not work. Here's the bonds going sideways, so we did nothing there. Here's the dollar going sideways, so we did nothing there. However, the four, some of the foreign currencies were pretty good. Here's your Aussie dollar. The moon was a day before that high there, before a substantial decline. Here's the British pound just going chopping sideways up into, up into the moon. Here's your Canadian dollar. That's a thing of beauty there. That was right on to the day on the high of the Canadian dollar. Here's the euro going up into the moon, and that day was the day before that high there. And here's Japanese yen just going sideways, and Swiss franc also going sideways. So, I, And I, I made sure that I put all the major currencies in because, as you know, Larry, the first of the year – it seasonally has often been a big pivotal time for the currencies. Would you agree with that? Uh, no question about it. Absolutely, yes. It's. Yeah. I don't know often why it is, but it really is. Currencies tend to have sort of long-term trends, and they often start in January in a new year. And I think it might be just – I'm just going to – rise now could be because a lot of these big companies decide you know the strategies for the year and and they commit to yeah. doing you know certain c currency commitments you know 
Yep. Just, just a guess. It's just a guess. All right. So adding up the green arrows and the track, <laughs> adding up the green arrows and the red arrows, we got twelve winners, four misses out of sixteen for seventy-five percent winners. Uh, here's what. Oh, I got one more thing to review for you. Uh, you. You get my letters, so you know this to be a fact, and I can probably find some more witnesses that this is in my letter every month. And I draw this blue line for the month, a la Bradley. It's not the Bradley model, but mm -hmm. some are similar to what he did. I, I started out with Bradley and then, uh, I think, improved it. Uh, so I draw this blue line a month in advance. And then as we go, I put, overlay the S&P 10-minute bars on top. And then here we have for the month of December, starting on the 4th of December and running through the 29th of December, I can see there, I think it's a fairly good correlation there. Did a pretty good it's job very there. Very good, yes, yeah. And here we go. And uh, let's see. Oh, here's what's coming up, Larry. So let's see. This is the 8th, the night of the 10th. AC is after the close of so the night of the 10th. We'll have a new moon in the sign of Capricorn. And that'll be, we'll be looking at financials, grains, precious metals, oil, and because it's in Capricorn, that's coffee. And then we on the night of the 11th, we have a mercury cycle. That'll be your corn, soybeans, wheat. And then the night of the 12th, line up for the UFT. And let's see, any, any uh, uh, questions or anything from the tiger den there, Larry? No, so far you've uh, nailed it pretty good. They watch. Larry, are you there? there? Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Okay, anyways, Hello. I can hear you okay now. Okay, good. So anyway, I've been You're doing, doing this, good. as you know, Larry. I'm sorry? You're doing very well. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Thank you. So I've been doing this a long time. I started in the early 70s when I was in college there at Indiana State in Terre Haute, and uh, Terre, uh, Larry's hometown. And uh, there we go. I studied all this stuff. Gan and Elliott Wave and astrophysics and astrology and I have a background in music and cycles and Fibonacci and anything I could get my hands on there. One and thing you're missing that's so, very important, Norm. You bought what's um, that again? You bought uh, the library from J.P. Morgan, Evangeline Adams. Oh yeah, you, Evangeline you Adams. That. I own her library. Yep. I own Evangeline Adams Library and also another even bigger astrological library by the guy who founded the American Federation of Astrologers, that was Ernest Grant. Wow. Hey, listen, thanks for joining yeah. us, my friend. We're going to have you on. Stay again for another segment, okay? We've got a couple questions coming in from the den, so stay with us. Okay, great. great. Norm Winsky, folks. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, we're back and we're talking with Norm Winsky of Astro Trends. We have a question from the Tiger Den, uh, Norman. That is, they want to know what tools do you use? Like when you're talking about these dates, how do you know when there's a full moon, when there's a new moon, and all these other aspects? Do you use an ephemeris or do you use a, a computer program? That's the question. That I have asking. a computer program. It was I understand it was written based on NASA formulas, where all this stuff is. And where do you, is that available to anybody? Oh, yeah. How do you uh, get you, that? I, get, I got my computer program from, uh, was originally a firm in Michigan called Matrix. Uh, oh, yeah, Michael that, Earl, yeah. I, he sold sure, uh, yeah. a couple of years ago, he sold to uh, a fellow, uh, David Cochran, who has, uh, I think it's uh, what is it? uh, Cosmic Patterns in Gainesville, okay. Florida. You know, what, so you can, you wasn't can, that name you can Blue Google. Star at one time? Wasn't it Blue Star? Yeah, that Matrix time? was Blue Star, right? And then he went to yeah. Windstar, and okay. then a couple years ago, he's uh, he's almost as old as you are, Larry. <laughs> Nobody's that old. Come on. <laughs> yeah. And he decided to retire and sell uh, sell the company to uh, uh, yeah. David Cochran at uh, Cosmic Patterns in okay. Gainesville, Florida. So you can Google that, yeah. and you'll find them. You'll find them, Mr. Uh, uh, cosmic patterns there in Gainesville. Norm, do you remember what happened with Neil Michelson down in um, uh, in San Diego with his uh, program that he had Astro Data or something like that? Because I he was my account oh, that when I was too. at that, that, that is basically a publishing firm now. Yes. And oh, his okay. wife moved up to I think New Hampshire. Uh huh. From San Diego. Yeah. What you do? Lose a sales contest. What's that again? Why would, anybody, why would anybody leave San Diego? She must have lost a sales contest or something to move I to guess. New Hampshire. For Maybe sake. she missed the snow. I don't know. Okay, one question, <laughs> one other question. <laughs> one other question regarding full moons and new moons. Are full moons as equal as new moons? I That's think the they, I treat them the same. You treat them the same. Okay. Most, the same, most of the time. Most of the time, but, uh, you know, obviously, if you have a lunar eclipse. Now, lunar eclipses, solar eclipses, are a little different in that I think, at least for the stock market, the stock yeah. market definitely does not like lunar eclipses. It's not as high a percentage batting average on solar eclipses. Speaking mm -hmm. of which, we're going to have a total eclipse go over the middle of the United States, I think, in April. April. I think it goes, okay. Matter of fact, I think it goes right over Terre Haute, Indiana, Larry. Son, we're going to have to tell my family there, my sister and brother-in-law and all my cousins and nieces and nephews to pay attention to it. They've never listened to me yet in all these years, so I don't know why it would be different this time, but that's okay. Hey, listen, I want to thank you for joining us today, and uh, you know, keep those cards and letters coming in with this good work that you do, and we'll have you on again in about, I guess, about 7 to 14 days when we have another lunar aspect. All right, we got huge stuff coming up about the third week of January, so it'd be okay. great if I could be on on Monday the twenty second. Let me check with my my uh, coordinator here. Uh, get, I have to get through all the staff people to reach her. Oh, she happens to be free now. What day would you like to come on?
You there, Norm? Well, must have. Uh, I'm, here. Must I'm have... here. Okay, what is the day you want to come in in January? Monday the, the 22nd. Monday the 22nd. Monday January the 22nd. 22nd. January 22nd. Yes, sir. We, we got the main man, Mr. Norm, is going to be on. So book it. You're on the. I promise I'll have okay. a huge. I promise I'll have some huge stuff for you, though. You always do. So keep up the good work. <laughs> okay. I want to wish everybody a happy, healthy, prosperous new year. Here's my contact information. I'm in beautiful Naples, Florida, 239 594. 3939. You can email me at nwinske at yahoo.com or you can call me on Skype at the same address. Okay, now let's get up here and we're going to thank you for joining us today, Norm. And I've got to get back to work here. The folks are screaming to see some charts. So okay. I've got to put those up and we'll talk to you back on the 22nd of uh, January, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Take Norm. care. Have a great day. Okay. Okay, folks, uh, let's take a look at the uh, S&P here. We are back to our level of 71 and a half. That was the area we wanted to be a seller, that little Gartley right there. Now, the Dow Jones actually backed off for maybe about 20 minutes or so. Uh, that number was at uh, uh, 37,239, I believe, and it's at 37,18, so there's nothing going on right there. Um, the Treasury bonds uh, tried to make that 382 again, as you can see here, but starting to back off a little bit. Still nothing to do uh, right there. The good part about this is the fact that we've got the uh, beef soybean oil has just gone 100 points higher than our buy points today. So that's been a pretty good one. Oh, should review here the uh, hogs because the hogs have still been uh, acting pretty good. Uh, we're up. This is the fourth day in a row. The hogs have been higher. So as you can see here, we have to start calculating because we have to measure from the last high that we had back here. We want to see what the 382 is. And there it is today, folks. We're within a heartbeat of it. 7097. We're at 7057 right now. That's also going to be a 78% level of this high that we had back here. So that's going to tell us that we should run in to some resistance here in the little piggies right there. Now, there's two reasons for that. You see that move right here? We always talk about how these markets repeat over and over again. Let's see how close this move right here, okay, was to this move right here. So we're just going to clone that and bring it over. Shut the front door and raise the rent. And that's why we came down to this level here with such a good buy because it was a beautiful ABCD down here at 65. We're now at 70. So keep your cards and letters coming in on the piggies because they look like they're getting ready to make something really significant. We should go down to a uh, smaller time frame to see if there's an ABCD here. There's what we're looking at. Here's the number that we're shooting for is right up here. So we're right in this ballpark. Uh, we didn't make a 382 here at all uh, today, so uh, we're going to be coming into some stiff resistance here uh, in these piggies right about here, and I think it's uh, within a heartbeat. There it is right there. Seven, oh, it's already hit it, folks. There's a 78% level. It's hit it twice. So if I was long hogs, I would be getting out of hogs right here. I got out of mine here, but uh, this is where you should be getting out of them, so that's what I would be doing in it try to buy them on a pullback of course so those are a few of the things that we're looking at right here remember folks these patterns don't work all the time but when they do work they work pretty good that's the whole key to looking at i see we just made a 70 uh, four handle in the uh in the s p so keep your stop working folks because there's still uh, two hours to go in the day and this could easily get up to this area right here because we're in that zone right here 47.72 and uh, Dow Jones just made uh, back to the same level again at uh, 37731 at uh, 37726. So we're in this ballpark. That's it. Just for kicks and giggles. Let's just turn on the uh, AI program to see if there's anything telling us, uh, oh, this has been a big jumpy day today. So we can see that it's had a bullish bias most of the day. What I would do here is I would move this over to see how close it comes right there. And then what I would do is, let me get this over here. Stay with us. We'll be right back, okay? Stay with us.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we started the show here with Boeing Airlines, and we're going to finish it up here with Boeing Airlines. You can see this is an hourly chart going over the last uh, 10, 12 days. Uh, we were coming into this week. This is an hourly on Friday. You see we were making a perfect 382, just spot on right there. That completed the pattern, by the way. I believe, let's just, oh, I'm sure it did. Well, I'm not sure of anything, but we'll measure it. That's yeah, it easily did it. Yeah, so we went quite a bit below it. Let's just see how far we went below it. Oh, it's going to be 1.27. So all I do is I come up and I change this to 127. And that tells us that we should be right at the low around that time. And there it is. That's why the beauty of these numbers are so great, folks. I learned these things from Bryce Gilmore. Now, someone also asked, why am I not on the program for the Foundation for the Study of Cycles? I've been a member of that place since the... Well, actually, before they did very much, because I had went to Pittsburgh to meet um, Gertrude Shirk, um, which his name had already passed away. But uh, I wanted to uh, know a little bit about it and stuff, and I got to be friends with her, and she shared me some stuff with Lunar Cycles. This is when I was working on the book for Astro Cycles. But uh, they did give me some accolades back in 88 when I wrote the book Astro Cycles, A Trader's Viewpoint. It won a couple of awards, and it was uh, one of the best sellers on Amazon. So I went down to the new offices in San Diego and gave a speech, and Stan Harley will tell you the story behind that. But uh, had a lot of fun. Paul Volcker was there. 
and uh, just a lot of a lot of people, Martin Armstrong, and a, you know a lot of other people that uh, were there. But these folks that are giving these talks are very good specialists in that, folks. I only know one thing, baby. I'm a one-trick pony, and that pony gets me to the finish line. Not every time, but most of the time. And the name of that horse is AB equals CD, as Mark Douglas would tell me. So that's what we're looking at today. So stay tuned tomorrow for Mike Moore of More Analytics. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. <laughs>